x bracket denotes the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Well, let's think about this for a second. If we took x bracket of 1, we'd get 1. If we took x bracket of 2, we'd get 2. If we took x bracket of 1.5, well, the greatest integer that is less than 1.5 is 1. If we took greatest integer of 1.1 or 1.999, all of these, we would have to round down to the greatest integer less than them, which is 1. So in other words, this whole piece of real estate between 1 and 2 gets rounded down to just 1. The whole piece of real estate between 0 and 1 gets rounded down to 0, and so forth. Any, every little integer section of real estate gets rounded down to the integer to the left of it on the number line. So that does mean that if we know the value of x, then we can easily calculate the value of the greatest integer of x. So statement number one gives us an equation. 5x plus 1 equals 3 plus 2x. Well, of course, the trap here is to start to solve the equation. Okay, That's a trap because this is data sufficiency. We don't actually need the answer. All we need to know is this is an equation. Obviously, we could solve this equation for x. And when we know x, we can find the greatest integer value of x. So in other words, simply by the fact that we have an equation means we could find x, we could find the value for the greatest integer, and therefore we could answer the question. So this statement by itself is sufficient. No more analysis is needed. Now forget statement number one. Statement number two tells us that x is between 0 and 1. Well, if x is between 0 and 1, again, it's in this piece of real estate on the number line. It's between the integer 0 and the integer 1. And so for any number in this region, the largest integer that is still smaller than it is the integer all the way on the left, is the integer 0. So if x is between 0 and 1, then it absolutely is true that the greatest integer function of x would equal 0. So it turns out this statement is also sufficient for answering the question. This directly leads to an answer to the question. So statement number 1 is sufficient. Statement number 2 is sufficient. Answer choice. D.